Amir King Khan, okay, um, I call him one of the best boxers from the UK and Pakistan um, because he was like a lightning speed, you know. Um, he possessed that lightning fast, you know, ferocious speed. At some point in his career, um, I don't, I, I mean, he still got that speed, but right now, I don't think he's, you can call him the fastest uh, boxer, you know, anymore. So that has been taken away from him, I guess. Um, but he was at some point uh, one of the fastest, he was one of, was regarded as one of, as the fastest boxer ever. So he said in, in, in an interview, a recent interview that he did, uh, he said, um, we know Joshua is a side, but Fury is number one at weight. Um, according to a statement right here, I quote, uh, you've got the heavyweight division at his best right now. He's the best he's going to be. In my opinion, is the best division out there at this time. We have not had it like this for a long time. There's AJ, the world champion, Fury, the new world champion, beating Deontay Water, Water, who seemed untouchable. Um, the every division is the one everyone is talking about and for the UK to have two massive names and two world champions it can only lead to one massive fight if AJ and Fury happens we all know the A side of the Everwitch is AJ is the A side is the big name and it brings the money to the table there are also many names out there I don't know what route AJ is going to take is Fury number one in the in, in is is Fury number one in the heavyweights? Definitely, you can't fault that Fury is number one. He's proven that having drawn against um and beaten Wilder, not just beating him but knocking him out. Can't said. Uh, all I did have first of all invite you in to give your take on this. Khan saying that Joshua is the of course the biggest name in 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 in, in the heavy division. Uh, but Fury is number one because he's beating Deontay Water and not just beating him but knocking him out. You know, the other day we, we kind of argued about this though. We talked about this when I, when I said Joshua is the, is the is for me number one, and of course, because uh, you know, he's 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 the he's, he's beating more undefeated fighters than the rest and has defended his bets not you know, um, a lot of times. And I also said that, uh, Joshua is the A side, and, and when the fight happens, and you like you said, Fury is the A side. So, what do you say to this statement from my account? Mm. Okay, first thing is point of correction. Joshua is the A side. Fury is the number one. That was what I said, and that's the same thing. I'm a kind of repeated. Obviously, and that's what I said. If the fight is going to happen, it's not going to be. AJ Fury, it's gonna be Fury AJ. Right, it's gonna be you know just the way it is and stuff like that. Even though like when it comes to the A side, if we, if we decide to look at it, we can say you know um, AJ doing everything he did with everything he's got, AJ should be both the A side and number one and stuff like that. But obviously, uh looking at and looking and trying to understand the way the um boxing thing do their things. I think the person the undefeated one stays number one. And Fury is still undefeated. And I know we can look everyone can say, you know, but Fury is for lesser opponent opponents and stuff like that, but the truth is is not the boxing's business about who you fight and that the only thing they care about is you're not defeated yet. So Fury is still number one because it's yet to be defeated. AJ is the, the A side. No one can take that off AJ anytime, any day. The A side will always be AJ, regardless where he is in that. Bro, let me not interrupt you, but you did say the other day that Fury is the A side, you know, not because he's the money man, I never said but because he's beating, he's beating, he's beating the better fighter, you know, I because he's undefeated said. and all that. I, I mean, when, Fury. because Fury, we was asked, I said, why is it Fury, well, Fury versus AJ? Not AJ versus Fury because he has to be, it's gonna be Joshua Fury versus Fury. AJ. No, it's going to be Fury, AJ, and Dustin. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. It doesn't work like that because it's not the A side. 
So, this is what I'm saying. How the can it be no, fear AJ? No, the A side is not going to come first. It's the number one that will come first. They know everyone know him. Everyone knows um Fury. Is, I I I'm I'm st- I said I said disagree with you, uh, with you. You know on that aspect, saying uh, on believing Fury is number one. You know I I, I said disagree, but I have no, to accept your opinion though. So anyway, continue one. continue uh, before AJ is, uh, uh, no, Ty comment. The trophy is looking at the way boxing does their thing in that Fury at the moment. We can all start arguing like, okay, Fury, AJ, and that, and that, that, but at the moment, Fury is number one because Fury is still undefeated. AJ will still always be the A side. So if the fight is going to go on, it's always going to be Fury v. AJ. It's not going to be AJ v. Fury. And that one, I'll always say, because the number one versus... The way, it's lo- the way it looks like now, like I said before, AJ will be the underdog. So AJ is more the challenger. AJ is more the challenger because why? And that's why I said that's why the fight is going to be Fury AJ. AJ is more the challenger and that's why everywhere, even AJ said himself, he knows he's the underdog in this and that and that, but he prefers being the underdog as well. So, but obviously, if you look at it from the outside view, you can be like, okay, AJ is pretty much the number one on the A side, but it doesn't really work like that and stuff like that. So Fury was still going to be the number one until, you know, he gets defeated and wherever, wherever it is. Then we can now look at it like, okay, Wu will not be the number one now. But the fact that he's still undefeated, Fury stays number one. AJ remains A side, wherever, wherever, wherever. Till AJ leaves boxing, AJ will always win the A side. No one's taking that off him. But when it comes to Fury, AJ, and that, and that, you know, until the fight comes out, maybe AJ end up winning. Then next time they fight again, then it becomes AJ v Fury. But for now, it's going to be, you know, Fury, AJ. A side remains AJ. Number one remains Fury. See the fight. That's it. Thanks, brother. I mean, we, you know, in, on this platform, it's nice to have different opinions. You know, at least we all know we don't. We, I mean, I don't, I don't agree with, with it, with uh, Fury being number one. But, you know, it's your opinion. And, of course, the main media, the mainstream media, they are like busy enough, you know, Fury's last win. Proud to that, they didn't say that though. Anyway, Ty, come in, bro. Uh, you know, that was a that was a very good analogy, uh Elijah Day. It was good. Um what Amir Khan said, you know, I, let me poke holes in some of in some of the things he said. Uh AJ is is a fan favorite. Uh, AJ has always been a fan favorite. I got to tell you, he's a guy that really brought the action back to the heavyweight division, not Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury left on his own accord after three years. You know, I I believe Tyson Fury, in my mind, I, I think Tyson Fury doesn't have a championship mindset. He might have everyone fooled, but he doesn't have me fooled. As a champion, why have you... I mean, you have everything, a wife, kid, and money and fame. Look at AJ. He doesn't have a wife, but yet he has a kid and he has a family surrounded by him. What are the two differences in those two except AJ not having a wife? But you had those, but you chose to leave and go ahead on a, and binge on coke and whatever excuse you want to use to cover up that little stunt you did of, of PDs and, you know, P- it, no matter, if you're a Tyson Fury fan, stop trying to not admit it that that's not what he did. That is exactly what he did, you know. He he knew they were catching up to him, so he had to use another uh, the excuse, oh, I went on a, a binging of coke and I got caught, so I had to leave. No. You know they were catching up to you, so that's the route you had to take. And every Tyson Fury fan, they, they they're gonna deny it to this day. And what I'm what I'm trying to say is, a, 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 a Tyson Fury doesn't have a championship mindset. He doesn't. Okay. So let's see who's who's playing mind games here, because AJ definitely has the championship mindset. He has a family around him, and he's 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 very well brought up, and he's a smart man. So I don't know what Amir Khan is talking about um, when he says uh, AJ is not a fan favorite or whatever whatever he said. AJ is absolutely a fan favorite. At this point, I think uh, I see what AJ means by uh, you know people are some pe- some people were hating on him. 
you know, doing the uh, Andy Ruiz uh, two bout. You know, he didn't trust them. You know, he had to cut. He cut some of them out, much like Carl Frotch. You know, he believed uh, uh, um, um, AJ wasn't gonna do it. Carl Frotch has always been bitter since AJ broke that record of that, or uh, uh, the massive record of uh, the ticket sales and the people attended in Wembley. Carl Frotch is always gonna be a, a salty guy, you know. And I'm glad AJ had AJ said something back because AJ is always quiet because of the uh, prom promotional deals he has going on. So he has to keep a he has to keep a low level head. You know, Amir Khan is also another person. I think he's just another jealous person in his life. You know, uh, he, he was not unable to really accomplish what he what he could accomplish. So he's gonna try to tear another guy down. I'm I'm not a big fan of Amir Khan anyways, but he, he's a good boxer. But I'm not a big fan. But what he said is is is, 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 is doesn't make sense, and I put close to it. AJ brought the, uh, the heavyweight division back to life. Yes, he did, he he didn't do it alone, but majority of the I'll say 85 percent of the of of the of what he did goes to him. And even look, you can't say it doesn't because look at the deals that he has. Hugo Boss, Under Armour, Lucas Z. There's so many deals, you know. So let's not say that. You know, and when it comes to uh, uh, um, uh, the 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 uh, ranking and everything, yes, Tyson Fury defeated Deontay Wilder, okay, but only because Deontay Wilder refused to fight AJ, and only by happens that Deontay Wilder thought he could beat Tyson Fury, okay. If he would have fought AJ, AJ would have eventually gotten a hand, it would have got would have gotten a hold of those belts. He would have been undisputed. So, Tyson Fury is, it, 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 yes, he has a he has that belt, but I believe in my mind he's not number one. AJ is number one. He holds majority of belts. Okay, AJ's a side. He's the fan favorite draw. Okay, Tyson Fury. You know, you've been you've been gone a while. You haven't really been putting on exciting fights. Except the Deontay Wilder fight, which is the only exciting fight I thought has been the only good fight since the return of your career. You know, I don't know what I don't know what other plans you have. Hopefully, AJ's in those mix. So you know, people want to deny the facts, but those are the facts. You know, and that's where I'm gonna leave it. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. And yeah, I'm I I'm 100. You know, uh support what i said you know what i mean like it's just i understand olajide you know olajide has his own theory and analysis stuff i understand that and i think it's good and i like it at the same time if we should start rating these fighters and according to who they fall joshua comes so tough for me that just uh, they just how it is that's the you fact know, can I, can I quickly, yeah? yeah bro okay you know when um khan said Fury is the fan favorite and that and that, yeah. The reason why I say that is because when it comes to Fury, AJ, even in the UK and thing here, a lot of people see Fury to be AJ. That's what Khan is talking about. Everyone knows AJ has got the highest boxing fan base and everything and stuff like that. That's not what Khan is referring to. In terms of both of them, even in the UK, and that's the reason why AJ made a video a few weeks ago saying when they fight, he won't mind if those people bet against him. That But he will make sure they lose their money. But if they bet on him, they will get their money back. Because why AJ is in the UK as well. And AJ sees the way the bookies and everything has got against him concerning Fury. So that's what American is talking about. Not about in that part. Fury has all the fun thing like okay, Fury AJ, Fury wins. But okay. proud to proud to that, nobody kind of like proud to that performance of Tyson Fury. Nobody even like tipped him to be number one. And even before prior to the fight, we even discussed about it that if Fury beats water, will he be number one? I mean, almost all of us agreed no, he wouldn't. Until yes, it be Joshua. Yes. But I understand you you I understand where you're coming from. But for me, Joshua yeah. remains number one. And I'm, just yeah, remember, remember before, even before AJ lost, when Fury came back, when they were doing the unbeaten, right? 
they were talking about how are they going to rank the three? Who is going to come first? Fury, Wilder, AJ, or AJ, this and that. 2018, the competition went on and on and on and on and on. When AJ lost in June, the competition became who will become number one. Is it Fury? That will be number one. Or Deontay Wilder? That will be number one. So the talk of Fury being the number one, to be honest, has been there. Right? But, like I said, the way boxing kind of do their thing, pick their pickings up and everything and that and that. It's not what, if you look at it now, we can look at like, obviously, with a resume, AJ 100% should be number one. No doubt. But that's not the way they look at it. Even I feel like Dillian should be ranked because Dillian, apart outside AJ, Dillian is the second person that's got a massive good resume as well. But Dillian is not even, they even kind of mention him to you and stuff like that. Because boxing has nothing to do with your resume or whatever, whatever it is. All they know is you're not defeated, you're this, you're that, you're a champion and that and that. So obviously with what Khan is saying is because of the ratings they put on Fury, AJ. That's what he's talking about. Yeah, bro. That's I it. understand. So for those of you guys that are watching right now, I know you guys like it whenever uh, me or Lodge Day and Ty, you know, we all come together and break things down. You know, uh, one of those guys said the other day, he said, uh, you have one of the smartest people, uh, an analysis uh, with you. Um, I think, uh, uh, thank you guys for the state for that statement. Of course, you know, all Lodge Day and Ty, they are smart in their whole way, you know. Uh, they live both live in different nations, you know, and uh, both both have collective ideas, you know, <laughs> you know, legend, analyzing stuff. So I always enjoy it, guys. But we miss Emma Tom Tom as well. Uh, but our brother is not a politician, so you know it is. Stay blessed, guys. <laughs> I love it, Chinese.